Hi friends! Today we are going to make a special that doesn't exist in CET or Project Symbols. I have a chair that I had a request of somebody who wanted to make a swooper stool. So I'm going to make this swooper stool. Now I've got the AutoCAD block for this chair, but I don't have any other information in CET for it. So what I'm going to do is, let me move this off my screen, and I downloaded the AutoCAD symbol from the heart, from the network. Here's the AutoCAD symbol. I'm just going to drag that and set that in my drawing. Take a second to load up. There it is. And I only need one, so let me flick that off here. So there's the stool. All right. Doesn't have a tag. Doesn't have any intelligence. It's just an AutoCAD block. So what I'm going to do is a little trick where I'm going to go to Project Symbols and load up any chair that I can. So I'll go back to, let's say, National Seating. Um, and I'm going to Standard. I'm just going to take First Choice here. The first chair I come up with, this is a quaint, and I'm going to add, maybe I'll add maybe one or two finishes and then place that chair in my drawing. So here's a chair, and this is just, it can be any chair. It doesn't have to be by National, but it can't be by Hayworth or Steelcase, because when we go to make it a special, they have special information that they add. So we want it to be a non-Steelcase or a non-Hayworth chair. Now here's the nifty part. We're going to go to edit graphics and I'm going to replace the graphics. I'm going to replace this equate chair with my swooper. So I hit replace graphics, I grab my little stool, I click on my chair and it switches it right out. Now if I wanted to I could change the height, the angle, um, I could change, scale it up if I needed to. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it so that it's exactly like the original and I'll go ahead and click OK and now that national chair looks like my swooper. Now this is still an AutoCAD block and I'm going to get it out of here so I'm just going to hit my delete key. Goodbye. And so now I have the stool and it still thinks it's a national chair so what I'm going to do, right click on it, go to query and we're going to click make special. So click make special and then all these fields open up for me to type in here. So like I'll change the manufacturer to be swoop S-W-O-P-P-E-R. Um, the catalog code, I'm going to make up a code. You might want to get that from your order entry people. WP, price zone. I'll type in a description. Let's say this is the special edition swooper. And I think this is a number 10. All right, so the part number on it is SW. US-10. Nope, I'm going to do the red one. So I want the SWS-01, right? So let's backspace this out, 01, right? And then maybe I'm going to say for the option code, I'll say cushion or seat rather. I think that's how they I did it. And then that's going to be, I'll change this to seat. And then we'll put in here that this is red. And then the spring is going to be, and I'll write in here the description, spring. And that's red also, right? And let me delete this out, all right? And I know that the price of this chair, if I look at this website, is, for the red one, is $6.99. All right, and I could buy it now. $6.99. All right. I don't know how big it is volume wise or what the weight is. So we'll get that information out of there. All right. Now, when I pick OK or apply, let me close out of here. You will notice that it says it's a special edition swooper. If I come up here, oh, but the tag still says equate. I do need to go back, right click on it, go to the install text and change that tag. Even though I can't see it, it's still in the calculation. So I'm going to put this as SW01. So now in the calculation, it'll have the correct tag. It's got the chair, it's got the part number, everything's good. I can go ahead and order it. The only problem with this chair is it is a festive yellow and I need to change the colors on it. Well, if I go to my material library and I apply, um, let's say I'm going to do red for the seat cushion. I click on the cushion, Oh, I have a little bit of a problem. The whole thing turned red. 
So let's see, I'm going to go and get my metal. Let me switch it so that the whole thing is, I think it's a dark metal. Okay. And now what I'm going to use is in my uh, edit graphics, I can actually use in the edit graphic meshes. I'm going to go to my single mesh select and click on, because it's already a special, it's already going to go through and I can click on each part individually. So I clicked on the coil and I'm going to hold my control key down and click on the cushion. And I am going to rename those meshes so that they say they're red. So their name is now red. Click OK. Go grab my materials again. This time when I apply red, I now have, you can see, I now have both the color red and the other layer. And if I just hit my tab key, I can toggle through. So now I'm on the red color materials. I click red. And guess what? It's a red cushion on a gray base, and it's ready to render, ready to use. Maybe right-click, save as favorite, and use it in my other drawings. So that's how you can make a non-project symbols, non-CET special. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.